Hi everybody, this is the kindergarten through second grade assignment for September 21st through October 2nd. Our artist this month is Frida Kahlo, which we did the portrait of her for our last assignment. Frida Kahlo did a lot of pictures of nature and flowers and leaves. Um, so today we are going to be paint, er, drawing some flowers. Um, so for this assignment, you will need a pencil and eraser and some sort of coloring utensil. I'm using colored pencils, but if you would rather use crayons or markers, that is fine as well. Um, so you always wanna start your drawing using a pencil. I will be using a marker just because it was easier for you guys to see in the video. <clears throat> the first thing you wanna do is you should be able to fit about four flowers in your project. So start by drawing some circles at different places down on the paper. And they can be different sizes. Uh, some flowers are smaller than others. So I just did four circles like that. Your next thing you wanna do is draw your flower stems. Um, if you need to pause the video anywhere, if I'm going too fast, you can pause your video and come back to it later. So there are some stems. Now we want to go on and do leaves. They kind of look like footballs or eyes. Um, so it is a curved line and then you do another curved line in the other direction. And this leaf is going a little bit off the paper, but that's okay. And you wanna give each flower two leaves. And leaves all have these things called veins. So that to do your veins, it's just a line down the center and then some V's. And you don't have to do veins on all of the flowers um, or all the leaves. I only did veins on two of my flowers last time. And I think I'm just going to do one leaf having veins on each one. So that's, there's my veins. Now we are going to move on to the flowers, to the actual petals and centers. So if you look at mine here, I have different types of petals, different types of centers. Um, so I'm going to just show you some different things that you can do. Um, if you have an idea to, uh, that I don't do, please do it. Like you can do whatever you want with these flowers. So for this one over here, I'm going to do a swirl going in. And then it'll have a circle at the center. I'm gonna do some little polka dots on that center. And um, I think that's all I'm gonna do on the center part. For the actual, why is my paper sticking? Oh, there's something sticky on my table. Um, probably just some tape or something, glue, I don't know. So now I'm going to move on to the petals. Petals are kind of just little hills on this one. So I'm gonna do some little tiny hills all over, all around it. Kind of like ends. Okay, so I think that's all I'm gonna do on that flower. I'm gonna move on to the next flower. Um, I really liked the center I did on this one, so I'm going to show you how we did that. It's a little tiny circle at the center, a dot, and then you do like a big petal. It's very long. And please do your own centers if you have an idea. I'm just showing you different things that you can do. Um, I'm not even doing 
the same centers. I'm going to try to do a lot of different ones so that you can see four different ones on here and probably three different ones over here um, because the swirl I didn't do up there. So that there's my center there. Um, and I really liked my uh, triangle petals on that one. So we're just doing triangles all around that. Right. Um, so let's see on the next one what if I do we can do kind of like a pinwheel so start with a dot at the center and you curve your lines coming out and it kind of makes it kind of kind of looks like a peppermint candy or it's just like a pinwheel shape and on the pinwheel Let's do petals that come out, really big petals, just big rectangles. So there's that flower. And on this last one, what if we do, what if we just do little polka dots? Just keeping, keep that one simple. And then we can make it kind of like this normal flower with just little, little tiny petals. It's just a baby flower. It doesn't, hasn't gotten big like these ones yet. So there are a whole bunch of different ways that you can do flowers. So please come up with any design that you want. It does not have to be something that I did. And make sure um, an easy way to, where you need to add our ground in. And an easy way to do this is take another piece of paper, or if you have a ruler, rulers are even better, but you can just line it up and you can see the ground kind of goes above the flowers. I didn't put it down here like right before. Um, so we're going to just you place your paper down and just hold it. Make sure you hold it really, really good when you're tracing. Because if you don't hold it really good, then it's going to move all over the place and you're going to have a crooked line. And there is our ground. Now I added a sun up in mine, but you can add a cloud, you can add, I guess that's really all that goes in the sky. Unless you try to do like a nighttime thing and add a moon, but I'm gonna show you that sun. You don't wanna draw your sun in the, just coming from the corner. You want to bring it out more, give it a big circle, and then kind of just, Funny looking triangles is how I did the sun rays. So it looks like it's all shining bright. Another way you can do your sun rays is just kind of some lines coming out from it. So I'm gonna add some lines too, so it's really sunny. I'm gonna show you a little cloud over here too in case you wanna add a cloud to yours. Clouds are kind of just big blobs. You give it a whole bunch of different curved lines. Doesn't have to be perfect, it's a cloud. Clouds have funny shapes all the time. And there is our whole drawing. So now you wanna color it, make sure you fill in all your white space. Um, see, I have no white space on this. I took my time, I filled in all the colors. So make sure you are taking your time and filling in all the colors. Um, I'm going to speed this part of the video up so that you don't have to watch me coloring. Uh, that might get a little boring, um, but we'll <laughs> Thank you.
end, we should be all done coloring. Um, if you're not done coloring, you would need to pause the video and come back to it when you are done coloring. Um, you notice that I filled in all of my white space except my cloud because clouds are white, so I'm leaving the cloud white. Um, and you can either be done now or if you have some sort of black marker, you can trace over all of your pencil lines. It just makes your picture look a little bit nicer. Um, you can also trace over your pencil lines with a black uh, colored pencil. I wouldn't really recommend doing a black crayon, but if you want to, you can. Um, so I would say either a marker or a colored pencil and tracing over all of your pencil lines. It just makes things stand out more and just looks a little nicer, um, but you can be done now if you don't have one of those or if you like how it looks now. Um, and so once you do that, you are all done. So please upload a picture um, to Google Classroom. I know I sent out a video um, or Miss Klein sent out a video saying how to take a picture and upload it on Google Classroom. So hopefully that works for you. You can also email me the picture if Google Classroom isn't letting you upload it. Um, but I would really, I'm really looking forward to seeing your artwork. Thanks for watching.